Well, I'm here at Maple Cage 13 Nemesis, and I'm here with uh, Crazy Bear Stab. Um, and obviously, he is the main event, um, fighting James the Juggernaut Mulheron. Um, and we're just having a general chat about um, about the fight. Um, obviously, we would have to welcome you. How are you doing, Stab? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm all weighed in, all, all carved up, so yeah, I'm good. No, it's a business end. Yes. The business end now. Like you said, just having a general chat about what you actually think of your opponent. Yeah, what do you think of Jim Holland? He's a he's a he's a, he's a, a real tough up and coming fire. Like I've been aware, I've been aware of him since he fought Paul Taylor, so it, uh, I've been following him, him pretty close. So I thought eventually, if, if, if he continues on the way he's been going, and he, you know, I mean, he would eventually fight. And um, he's done, he's done he's done like really well to get to where he's at. Mm -hmm. But all, all, all you know, all um, joking aside, I think I, I, I'm obviously going to be stuck in mm -hmm. I think I, I think. That I'm going to be just too much for him. Do you think you're I'm, 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 I'm sure I'm going to be too much for him. If you're too much for him. But I mean, if, I mean if, if he beats me, then fair play, he's the better man, but, I, but he's not a better man. Well, that's what I was saying to you there. Now, on that, on that, clap, on, that on them levels when he's climbing, yeah. you know, you're stand, you stand in front of him, too. Yeah. So now it's your job to, to stop that. That, that, that juggernaut, yeah. Exactly. The juggernaut, exactly. because exactly. obviously, if it doesn't, if it rolls on out of town, you know what I mean? It keeps going forward. Exactly. So, exactly. You know, in like I say, he's, he's fought all these opponents. Likes of Paul Taylor's and uh, Thompson Towler, and yeah. Towler, and uh, now it's your turn to step into the arena with them. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I figured that, that eventually we'd mean he would have to fight. Mm -hmm. Why I think it's a bit too, a bit too soon for, for him to to to, do that. to fight me? You know, if I, if I, if I was him, I would have had at least a couple more fights before mm -hmm. taking someone like me. Mm -hmm. But it's you know, his choice. He, he's he stepped up. He's manned up. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I can't help but respect that. So fair play to him. Um, what do you think? I mean, you, you've never fought on Mayfair for the cage before, but you must have heard a lot of reports about it. And well, does it, would, would these belts mean a lot to you if you were to get them? Are they, would they? I mean, um, uh, I mean, uh, my teammate is uh, a world weight champion, yeah. so I'm um, like, obviously, the, the belt. It, it wouldn't be a lot, for, you know, for me to bring it back to the uh, home to South End. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, and back to TSG. So for sure, this is you know, I, I think for sure, I definitely want to win the belt. Just a good promotion. For it's, you. it's a great promotion. It really is. Like I'll find a way. Because um, when I heard about it, I thought, oh, what was this show about? You know, I mean, to be honest, I didn't really think, think too much of, 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 of the show purely because purely because I hadn't um, seen it. But then when I went up here for, uh, for I think you know, the eleventh show mm -hmm. when Waterford, I, I, I was yeah. I, I was really impressed. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was very. I mean, I, I'm sure I, I mean, sent it out. You know, awesome show. I was well impressed. And uh, like, like with me, I, I, I like to fight on big shows. I can't stand fighting on sort of small yeah. events. So I thought, okay, I could see myself fighting here for sure. But well, we do appreciate uh, the opportunity what um, you gave us by coming up here yeah, and, and, and fighting sure. against James. Um, what is what is your plans for the future? Is, is are you still firmly in your mind? Are you firmly still a fighter, and you've still got a few years to go? Or well, are you still are you still firmly? I'm I'm only like I'm only 27 years old, mm. so I'm not like, older. Than even though no, I no. I, I just, I just mean, so you know, some some people just uh, the way I look at it is, especially with heavyweights. Uh, heavyweights don't um, mature until the thirty or year old, thirty exactly. plus age. But they say you still got plenty, plenty of fights and plenty of things in your mind going forward. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I mean, um, I I love competing, I love training, mm -hmm. I, I love teaching. Um, so I'm I'm, st I'm I'm still gonna be fighting for a while. I mean, I mean, if the offers keep, if, if I keep getting getting good offers. Then I'll keep fighting. As, as long as the officers are there, I'll, I'll fight. The other interesting thing, which is uh, in the background, obviously, Phil De Vries is in his corner. Yeah, you know, I was going to have to ask this. I've got a. Yeah, of course, I've got I've got a, you're waiting for it. You're yeah, waiting for yeah. it. Uh, um, Phil's in the corner. I was one of the few who actually went down to watch you fight. Okay. Phil, I was, was. There was only a handful of us, about five or six. But um, that must obviously be in the uh, back of your mind. Yeah, slightly. Of, of Phil, Phil, Phil's going to be there. You, basically, Phil's from here. James is from here. Yeah. You're coming up. We we went down to Essex. You now come back up there. Yeah, so you've got Phil in the corner. You've got to fight. You're gonna fight James. I mean, the thing is, I'm not fighting Phil, but, mm -hmm. unfortunately, but mm -hmm. I'm fighting James. So um, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I, I think I'm. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly confident I'm, I'm going to be James, and I would love to have very much with Phil. And that's which, what, I knew you and that was yeah. what we were talking about. Do you yeah. understand that that's a script, but we're right. Yeah. So that's got to be in the back of your mind. Of course, I mean, I would love to have a. a, a I do understand that he's got a lot of his plate in Japan and stuff, so 
If you him say no or whatever, for whatever reason, I wouldn't take it personally. But, but you would, but you would. Tip, I, 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 I would, I would, I would, I would love to him, of course. But like I said, he's got a lot of things lined up, so for him, it might not make sense. Which I would understand if I'm what I'm his shoes. Mm-hmm. But again, if 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 if, 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 if a promotion could put on, you know, uh, that rematch, I would jump for the chance. So that means that this 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 fight means a lot. You've got to win. Yeah, well, oh, you haven't got. You but know, but every, 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 every fight I've got to win. Yeah, every, every fight, fight I've got to win. Every fight you've got to win. But with them type of things playing about. Is it an, an extra needle? It's a little extra needle. Yeah, it's a bit extra. It could, it could, it could, it could, it could uh, like I say, it keeps them offers coming in. It keeps, yeah. it keeps that possible rematch alive. Yeah. So for both people, both parties, this should be an excellent, excellent matchup. Yeah, it's and it's if you just want to get down there, you better get down there tomorrow night because this is uh, Crazy Bear and he's ready to do business. But. Yeah. Like, obviously, like, I mean, the thing is, like, when was the last time you had two top heavyweights fighting on UK soil? No, no, but long, long It was time. probably when I don't feel. That's the last yes. time. No, that was the last time, you know. That was a couple of years ago. And so, like, I think it's a top, top matchup. I think it's a it means top matchup for, for my career, his career, for mm-hmm. maybe for the cage, for the fans, for, for everyone. For future, like, future fights. For future, you know, for everyone. I mean, this is a fight that you really can't miss. In fact, I didn't want anybody to lose. I was just going to sit here all afternoon speaking about it, but we've got to get down to business tomorrow night. And uh, that will be at Rain Meadows Arena for Nemesis 13. Yes, yes. Crazy bet. Thank you.